Jay, we're under two weeks from the season. This place will be full. You'll be making your BYU debut. How excited are you about that? Well, I can't wait. And I can't wait for the noise, the excitement, the home uh, field advantage that we get from Cougar Stadium. I can't wait. What is it like when you're over there with the opposing team dealing with the crowd? Well, you know, having played here and coached here against BYU, this is the loudest stadium I've been in. Uh, when the crowd gets rolling, um, they can create a lot of issues, penalties, um, just a confusion. So I, I can't wait to have it on our side. The defense you're going to roll out, do you know your starters right now? Is it is it that firm with who you got? Well, in certain positions, yes, and there's still battles going on. Depth chart is still a critical part of fall camp and what we're doing. It's not set in stone yet, but a lot of things are being solidified right now. The guys up front, the defensive line, that was a concern coming in. Uh, you went to the portal. You reworked these guys. How do you feel the, about the group up front? Well, really good. I think Coach Puha and Coach Papinga have done a phenomenal job getting their guys ready. Um, some of the names, obviously, Batty has had a really good camp. Nice Mahe's had a great camp. Jackson Cravens and uh, Caden Hawes have really st stood out inside. Uh, Isaiah Bagna. I mean, there's, there's a lot of guys right now standing out, playing at a high level. Uh, but uh, I can't say enough about the coaches and the players just buying into what we're doing and, and the progression they've made so far. Your first interview on Sports Nation, you talked about your styles, attack, 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 blitz, and attack. Uh, do you think at the linebacker spot you got the guys to execute that? For sure. You know, uh, the addition of A.J. Vong Pachong to, you know, Max Tooley and Ben Bywater has really uh, helped us, helped solidify things. But, and then there's been an emergence of some young guys that have really stood out. Uh, Isaiah Glasker's done a great job. Cialia Sarah's done a great job. Ace Kafusi. Um, anyway, bottom line, that's another group that's really, um, really solidified themselves and added some depth. Harrison Taggart did some really great things today. So I'm excited about that group and letting those guys tee off and go. You step back a few more feet. You're into the secondary. You lose Micah Harper for a year. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a, that. You lose some leadership. You lose mm -hmm. some tenacity, some experience. Um, but you got a lot of guys back there. How do you feel about that group? Well, you know, devastated for Micah because I love the kid so much, and um, he's been a playmaker. And I know the fans were excited to watch him play. And he'll come back. He's a resilient, tough kid. Uh, the rest of the group, it's their turn to step up and uh, may prove to the players, prove to the fans, prove to themselves that they can be that playmaker that we all want back there. And there's a lot of guys playing well right now. How much time have you spent watching Sam Houston footage? A lot. You know, we watch Sam Houston for the personnel. We've watched a lot of Virginia Tech stuff because the offensive coordinator came from Virginia Tech. Uh, the head coach is still there and has been an offensive guy. So it's really we're trying to mesh the two schemes and what we think they're going to do. But week ones, you never quite know exactly what's going to come out. And uh, so we got to be good with our base stuff and sound in everything we do. With all that's going on, when, when it's just you and Kalani Sataki in the room, yeah. you guys look at each other. What do you talk about? Well, he's a defensive guru, right? I mean, Kalani knows defense. He knows what uh, he wants. I think he brought me in because we have very similar ideas on what it looks like. And so it's more just bouncing ideas off of each other on how do we get our players in the right positions to make the most amount of plays. And it's fun. It's fun to be talking similar schemes and similar ideas with someone that you, you know, you respect and trust because he's been there and done that. And do you get a lot of, yes, you're right, Jay. You're <laughs> right, Jay. Let's do that. You know what? Kalani's a, an <laughs> unbelievable head coach. He's very supportive to what we want to do. Uh, but he also steps up and says his opinions when he really wants something done. And then it's our job to get that done. And so uh, he's been amazing to work for uh, so far. And I can't wait to do it in games and do it with this this group of players that we have. This is going to be a great, great experience. Let's finish with the vibe that this team seems to have. We sense it in just a little bit of time that we're around it. But you're around it all the time. How would you describe it? Well, the players, I think, are super close. They do a good job of uh, blending you know, a lot of different things, a lot of different cultures, a lot of different races, a lot of different religions, and they've done a good job of coming together and blending it well. I think they love each other, and I think that's a critical part of success. They're a fun group to coach. Uh, it's a group where if you ask them to do something, they try their darndest to do it. And uh, so I'm super excited to see them on game day. I can't wait for the ups and downs. That's part of the college football that I look for. It's not all going to be roses. And how they react to the adversity that we will face is going to be a fun, a fun part of you know, seeing what this team's all about. 
And then there's going to be a lot of ups where we're playing at a high level and dominating out here, and I can't wait to see the fans getting behind that. Saturday, Notre Dame and Navy kicked the whole thing off. They're the first game out there from Ireland. As you see that on the TV, can you believe it's here? No, it's come fast, right? I mean, we work all year for 12 weeks, and then hopefully you get a bowl game. And it, it's, it's just one of those things you grind and you work and you put in so many hours in recruiting and in the office watching film that, you know, when it finally comes, it's like Christmas Day. So <laughs> Merry Christmas. All right. Thank you. Can't Thanks, wait. Jay.